Hey, it's Lydia, Priestess Honeymoon. Hmm. I was just like sitting here getting ready and like my picture, my phone, like just took a picture of me. So it was random, like delayed picture somehow came up and so I was trying to get it to do it again, being like, hmm this perfect but then it wasn't happening but oh there's like a little ray of light coming in on the screen oh. hmm. what a day hmm. what a life who hmm. came to visit Beautiful spirit. Mm, just loving this. This life. It's like I just did this amazing. Almost like shamanic journey. And just cleared so much. And just made space for this energy to be. And just processing grief and shame that have been held in my body just taking on other people's stuff and knowing that I can release that I don't need to hold on to that and, hmm, it's such a beautiful place that I'm at of just pure love and acceptance and really feel like this energy body is like just formed not letting any energy leak out you know things that weighing us down or bothering us can just be this energy leak so just like allowing it to be formed and just to be complete and stay with me is all oh, so amazing <laughs> knowing that i am totally just writing my story that I am on the right path and I'm literally doing all I am meant to be doing and yeah I want to write this beautiful version of my life but I also know that just being is enough and that I'm doing all I'm meant to do teaching myself and my kids this better way hmm. not that the questioning will be gone because i'm sure that i will still question and even that just can be okay with that just trying to stay so present to the moment and really live to be a better human <laughs> Hmm, like anything that takes us out of this moment is just distracting us from being here in the present. And this is where the sacred is in the moment. And I can just live in full expression of self while I'm here, present to it all. <laughs> hmm, it's really questioning this way of you know these people who have maybe not been the nicest to me or treated me the way that they did and knowing though that that's on them that's not a reflection of me and you know, hearing from so many and knowing that, yes, I do want to have strong boundaries, protect myself first, but, you know, the way that we live, it's like, oh, well, you don't need to let them in, but I really feel like, you know, forgiveness is a new way, just knowing that I send so much love to you all, even if you've harmed or wronged me, I forgive you. 
and send so much love. It doesn't mean that I need to let them back into my life, though. I do have that freedom to choose, though, and knowing that, you know, if I do allow them back in, if I speak to them and give them a chance, then that is my choice. And just knowing and giving that forgiveness and... It's such a huge lesson to people that they are not their choices, you know, and they can make better choices. <laughs> I am here to lead this new way. I know that <sighs> I'm doing what I'm meant to do here. <laughs> and people don't need to love me. <laughs> I remember meeting someone and it said something about loving me. I'm like, you don't have to love me yet. <laughs> I love you. Whoever you are, wherever you are. When you tap into the unconditional love that you are, you can just love yourself deeper and be truer to yourself and it will overflow into the world. <laughs> so much love. No matter what you've done, doesn't matter. We are not our choices. And we can always make a choice to do better. <laughs> Every day is a new beginning. My mom said that to me as I was crying about something I had done or a way that I had respond, reacted to my son's behavior. And I think I was crying to her and she just said, every day is a new beginning. And <laughs> I want to get that tattooed on me because we have a choice of how we show up in this world. We do not need to live with regret. We can always choose to do better. <laughs> not everybody is the self-aware or able to see past their ego. That came to me too this morning, really feeling like I think people want to hold on to those stories of you know, I'm anxious, I'm depressed, I'm this, I'm that, and it is a story, and you can choose to change the stories. And <laughs> this dream is so clear in my dream of a child saying, I'm so anxious, I'm this, I'm, I'm so anxious, I can't see past this worry and anxiety. And I just said, have your anchor thought, which was a Mel Robbins quote, beautiful, like anchor thought, something to bring you back to the present moment. And I taught her about anchor thoughts. And then I said, it brings you back to your body because anxiety cannot exist in this moment. <laughs> I know that maybe... I don't know, actually. <laughs> Everybody can access this. The sacred is here and now. And I really, really just want you to experience the magic that you are, the mysteries that surround us. <laughs> we don't need to know, but I will just discover more of what we do not know. I am here for this and so are we all. <laughs> Peace and love baby. Rebel Priestess out. Mwah. Happy Friday. Mwah. Mm.